incredible. It feels just incredible. It feels like I'm living in a dream. It just feels so magical. I'm totally thrilled, but I'm just so, ooh, it's just so calming to get through and have all our friends and family there. And I mean, what a night. It was pretty special. Broadway is it's very special, and to be invited to come over and work here is uh, it's a feather in the cap and it's a great privilege and god i love american audiences they are fabulous absolutely fabulous the noise you need to bottle it really this is such a, a great bonus for me um, to be back on stage on broadway it was when they called us to get into places to open the show tonight when they said you know it's uh, you know opening night on broadway it kind of i kind of went oh my god it really is isn't it here we go so it's um it's, it's a real honor and it's a real thrill i haven't thought about it really in all these many years but as there were go it was going to be this extraordinary first class new production of a little night music and i had reached an age when you know it was natural for me to play madame armfeld I said, why not? You know, it was a wonderful way for me to get back into a musical, which is really my favorite form of, of, of drama in the theater. I just love pieces like this that are deep and they go to dark places, but they're also incredibly funny. It's just such a well-rounded show and it was written so beautifully. And I think it's long overdue that it has had, that this is, revival is here. There was no sense of timing for me, like, oh, there's that kind of government in power, or, or, or um, hey, uh, people in driving goggles are back in fashion. I mean, no. The, the point is, it's for all time. It's, it's a totally ageless story. Trevor Nunn is um, our director, and um, he is undoubtedly um, up in the top two or three theatre directors in the world. What he can extricate uh, from a script, the way he does it, it's second to none. <laughs> Excuse the pun. <laughs> the way that Trevor staged it is, is just so simple, and and, and what we you know, we do is like the book, Hugh Wheeler's book, and 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 the genius of sometimes music just play for itself. You know, it's not it's not fluffed, fluffed up in any way. It's like a Chekhovian play in a way with. You know, sometimes music, it's, it's, it's a very special piece. This particular show gives you a taste of something that really isn't on Broadway right now, anywhere else. It's smart, it's a very intelligent piece. Um, the music is stunning. I can't even say how stunning the music is. You have to come and listen to this piece. You get to see two of the most fantastic leading ladies on stage. Um, and me make a fool out of myself and take my shirt off. You'd see a lot of people take their clothes off, actually. So that's always good. It's a comedy, and it is so sensual. And, um, you know, it has such a young, vibrant, good-looking, talented cast, you know, that there's just, it's, it's about sex. And who doesn't want to see a show about sex? It's kind of like PG-14, I'd say. No, because then I just lost all the eight-year-olds who are going to come. Yeah, X that one out. Marketing will get mad at me. That's bad. It's bad for ticket sales. It's a masterpiece, and people need to experience it because it's the first Broadway revival of the show, and this has all been put together very carefully for a great reason, and I think that it's just absolutely tremendous. The weekend in the country where...